Hi everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here once again with my video series for business owners, for salespeople, and for sales managers. And as you know, I do these to help you make more money. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me directly at kennethghasty.com. If you've got some a title you want me to discuss, or if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, I'm happy to answer it there. If you want to go a little more in depth and talk about some consulting, that's the place as well, kennethghasty.com. Well, today's video is called Do It Right the First Time. So, so what does that mean? And why, why do I say that? I think we all kind of know that, but let, let's just discuss it. You know, when I was uh, younger, my, my, I can, my dad's words just resonate in my ear. And it says, if you don't have time to do it right the first time, then when are you going to have time to do it over? So that's some pretty good words of advice if you think about it. So I'll give you an example of and what caused me to be thinking about this. When I uh, was on the road, I did, came off that three-week road trip last week, and I was in a hotel room, and I was, I was working on a proposal for a company that I'm involved in. I'm partners with a guy who's a, a genius on uh, the digital marketing side and such. And we were doing some new products, and so I, I, I decided to update our, uh, our our terms, you know, our terms of agreement and such. And um, so the part of that where it actually came to the the financial aspect of it was kind of templated, you know, and I, and I was running out of time. I mean, the maids were literally banging on my door, you know, and saying, oh, you got to go, sir, you got to go. So I was like, oh, crap, I got to finish this. I need to get this out right away so we have good service. <clears throat> so I, I took the term section and I made a bright yellow and then I just emailed it over to my partner and said, hey, man, I, I want you to check the terms, make sure they look okay, and then go ahead and forward it over to the new customer. So all good, right? Wrong. <laughs> so, so what actually happened, well, he understood when I said the terms, you know, was the terms of the, you know, the what we were providing and, you know, what time frame and things like that. And he looked at that and said, yeah, it looks good, you know, because terms is an ambiguous term, right? And so then he uh, forwarded it out. So when I looked at it, for whatever reason, I double-checked it after he sent it. And I looked at it, and there's my big bolded section again. Very embarrassing, you know, but uh, easy mistake to make. So if I, done, if I would have done it right the first time and faster, you know, that wouldn't have happened at all. But also my communication wasn't done right. I, I should have said take the term section 5.1 whatever and, uh, you know, yada, yada. But I, but I didn't, and uh, he didn't hear it that way. And, you know, that's just, just what happens when humans are, are uh, communicating. Anyway, so there's lessons to be learned there. Right? One is um, finish finish the job you know, that you're working on, if you're in it, just finish it and get it done. And two is communicate very clearly when you're asking somebody to do something because what they hear is correct to them and what you mean is correct to you and you're both right. So anyway, I just wanted to share that experience and hopefully it'll help you to uh, not have to deal with issues uh, like that going forward. So take the time to do it right. Do it right the first time. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Kenneth G. Hasty, KennethGHasty.com. Signing off. Take care, everybody.